Mindset Optimization Program. First, it is imperative to understand how the mind works, and then we can understand all the anger, depression, and mental traumas in our society, especially on kids with a negative childhood experience. The mind consumes information from the environment and circumstances we are in, and it reacts to it. If you're around negative people, your mind wants to mirror that negativity. If you're around something inspiring, your mind mirrors that too. So be cautious about having negative information and people in your life, because they shape how you think, feel, and behave. Your overall personality. The main factor of who you are is not your situation; it is the interpretation of what is happening. We never learn by what we hear or what we are seeing. We learn by assumptions. Interpretation. Once your mind takes in information, it interprets it by asking, "Is this good or bad? Is this safe or dangerous? Should I approach or avoid? What does this mean to me personally?" How the mind works. Personalities. In this part, you're going to learn about personalities. In order to understand what personality you have, first we need to explain it to you. I need to explain to you that every person possesses two personalities. One is the covert personality in what you say you are. When you go in life and they ask you how are you, and you introduce yourself as I'm a doctor, I'm a student, I'm somebody. This is covert personality. This is where you are working to be, but this is not exactly who you are because the core personality is what you believe you are. This is the part inside you that you project to others exactly who you are. It's right there in the core personality where you have your mental blocks. It is not the covert personality. The covert personality is used to interact with other people. 
but the core personality is interacting with other energies. All of this is based on energies and its established use for the subconscious mind. In the core personality, you possess